50 years ago today, Apollo 11 lifted off mm -hmm. into outer space and days later landed in the history books. Um, no shortage of commemorations, right? <laughs> Not at all. And they're beginning already, right? And so today I did have the chance to check out one at the Intrepid Sierra and Space Museum that was geared toward young ladies that huh. live around the city. Let's watch. Yes. Three, two, one. Liftoff on Apollo 11. From the long walk to the Saturn oh, V to really stepping good. foot on the moon, the Apollo 11 mission captivated oh, Americans great. and curated one hope. One small step for man. To me, Apollo was, was more than a mission. It was a mindset, a mindset of hope that exploration can live forever. I spoke with NASA's Jim Garvin via satellite. He was just a young boy when three men set out to do the impossible. We were cheering like someone had won a Super Bowl. 50 years later, Americans are celebrating all over again with festivities happening across the country. On the deck of the Intrepid, inside the Space Shuttle Pavilion beneath the mighty Enterprise Space Shuttle, students from the Intrepid Museum's Goals for Girls STEM program heard from former astronaut Timothy Copra. And I hope that you all can find some inspiration from what these heroes, my heroes, and what these pioneers did 50 years ago and what we continue to do in space. It's kind of surreal actually because if you think about it, these are the pioneers that kind of led in space exploration. Without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. It's very interesting to me. Humans evolved from such a small organism to now and how far we've come. From the moon to Mars and a manned space station in between. So much wonder and amazement in NASA's discoveries and accomplishments thus far. But I want to know what's next. We're at the cusp of a new exciting phase with the Gateway and Artemis program. You know, we're looking to put into space another station that will be in an orbit around the moon. Much more exciting things lie ahead for, uh, for humanity. So I'm hoping in the next 20, 30 years, we will have human presence on Mars as we learn from that sustained presence on the moon. That's my dream. Before then, NASA plans to send the first woman to walk on the moon. That mission, Artemis, slated for 2024, is already inspiring young minds. And I think that's really cool that like we're taking a step forward in like women and like, women's rights and like taking a part in all these events. So you're hoping to be maybe the second woman on the moon. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> for certain, celebrating this moment in history with such gusto is inspiring our future. From the Intrepid, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. And in case you're curious, obviously this is not the only event. They're going all throughout the weekend. And another one of note is at the American Museum of Natural History. They mm -hmm. are going to do a recreation of the landing and inside the Hayden Planetarium. And you can catch that during Space Fest on Saturday. And you can also check out their moon rocks. So much to see. Yes, and to remember. So much. I, I, okay, I do remember this. I'm just going to put it out there. You do? Okay, so what do you <laughs> oh remember? Oh my gosh, it was so exciting. I mean, we were just nailed to the television. Of course, then we only had three TV channels. So. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and everybody was doing it, but of course, Walter Cronkite all the way. Um, and, and coming from Ohio, Neil Armstrong is from Ohio, uh, the old station I worked at. I had to do a stand up around his house, uh, he uh, do TV around his house. Um, never met him, did meet John Glenn. Let me just say so the excitement then, and then seeing it with the children now, I think that's sort of the. It's so uplifting that they're not seeing it happen real the way we did, but there's just this. Wow. Yes. Inspirational uplift and cheering and enthusiasm. I know. I, I mean, I'm still awestruck by it. Yeah. And of course, to see the rover on Mars is mm -hmm. unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So I just, I do feel that, you know, we're kind of waiting mm -hmm. to see somebody else on the moon again. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to 2024. Hopefully NASA can make it happen. Maybe your daughters might be of age, but I know. <laughs> right. Well, they'll get close anyway. That's pretty soon, just five years away. Sure. Quick mention: Man on the Moon tonight, 10 p.m. on CBS Two. Oh, that's right. Yes, it's a CBS News special. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to see that. Yes. Thank you, Vanessa. Of